For the past seven years, I've been working out in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. I'm studying how the decline of white bark pine trees is impacting Clark's nutcrackers. The nutcracker is especially important for the white bark pine because the tree depends virtually 100% on the nutcrackers to plant their seeds. The problem is that the white bark pine is disappearing really quickly throughout its range. We know that this decline is impacting the nutcracker, but we're only beginning to understand how. Hi, my name is Talza Shamming. I'm a PhD student in the Cornell Lab of Ornithology in the Department of Natural Resources. Nutcrackers are actually really important seed dispersers in the western U.S. for at least a dozen trees, not just the white bark pine. Their seed caching has a huge impact on the entire western landscape. The nutcrackers cache or hide up to 100,000 seeds per bird per year, so they have food to eat over the long cold winters. I've been evaluating whether nutcrackers will continue to persist in the greater Yellowstone by studying their breeding behavior, their foraging behavior, and their habitat use. Now I'm taking my project to a whole new level. In fall 2014, I attached satellite transmitters to seven Clark's nutcrackers outside of Jackson, Wyoming. Every day, I can now jump on my computer and see exactly where the nutcrackers are. Knowing where the birds go gives us a much better understanding of how much habitat and which habitats nutcrackers need to survive. These answers are important to managers who are trying to save the whitebark pine tree. The managers assume that once we help restore whitebark pine, the nutcrackers will be around to take back over. I'm trying to figure out what we need to do to ensure that the birds really are still around. So, where do you come in? I need to raise $6,000 to fund a second year of satellite tracking. This second year is critical for me to provide the best management recommendations possible. After all, one of the most important pieces of this research is to understand how Clark's nutcracker behavior changes when the whitebark pine cone crop changes. And every year the whitebark pine cone crop is different. We need to be certain that this last year of satellite tracking wasn't an anomaly. If we want to protect and manage these iconic whitebark pine trees, these fascinating birds, the Clark's nutcrackers, and their really important seed dispersal, these results will help us make the best management decisions possible.